Hey guys, it's Deborah. Um, I just get a view of my bookshelf here because I just had to do this so super quick. Um, I just posted a video and that video um, was about what's happening with the Israeli government right now. As you know, I mean, you may know that Netanyahu and Gantz just uh, agreed out of nowhere practically that they are going to, you know, go together and form a, you know, joint government or whatever where they're, Netanyahu is going to, um, you know, lead for 18 months and then Gantz for 18 months. Um, this is huge guys. You've got to listen all the way to the end. Okay. So basically after I made that video, I was having a really strong feeling about the, the video length and, um, I'm not trying to get weird here, but this is something. Okay. So for, it was four minutes and 24 seconds. I made this video like six hours ago or something. And I just kept feeling the strong feeling to look up the time. Um, the time, the amount of, sorry, to look up the number and strongs of the amount of time of the video. You know what? Actually, first I'm going to tell you something else and then I'll tell you at the end what I found when I looked it up. But first I want to say that I didn't know at the time how this uh, is going to affect the Kaduri prophecy, if it nullifies it. I'm going to read it to you quickly so you know that it doesn't. Okay. So it says, now Kaduri made this in 1979. It says on the eve of the year of 5780, the year of corrections, there will be, a, there will be there will not be a government in Israel for an extended period of time. That happened. That's the year we in. We were we are in, and it was true. It's no government for an extended period of time, and the various camps will be will quarrel much without a decision on either side. And then on Rosh Hashanah, Nisan itself, they will fight in heaven. That would be, um, that would be, and Rosh Hashanah, you know. I don't know if they mean, you know, the Jewish New Year or the real New Year, but he said they will fight in heaven. That will be Michael and, and, you know, the holy side against the side of evil and God and his entourage will decide between them. Okay, so that's fine. It says that there'll be no government on the eve of 570 and it will be for a period of time. Now let's go to Shoshani's prophecy, which uh, Kaduri, you know, also validated or whatever and so he says there will come on that day that two ministers win the government in the land of israel both their names will be benjamin and neither of them will succeed in establishing their government or kingship on that day no one understand that the king messiah already stands at the doorway and on the sabbath afterward um he will come and be revealed this is huge guys listen to this okay so i have been talking about april 20th for a while now why because on March 12th, the pandemic was declared. Now, some people say it's the 11th, but the WHO officially declared it from what I researched on the 12th. It doesn't really matter, but look, at this is what I was shown. So on the 12th, um, basically, the from the 12th, I was counting 40 days because this is all things the Lord was showing me from four, uh, the 40th blood river happened in Ontario, Canada. And I'm Canadian and I felt like I was supposed to, you know, research this. And I just realized that 40 days from March 12th. Oh no, sorry. It didn't go exactly that way. The way it, I realized that was a subscriber actually messaged me and she said she had prayed to the Lord about this 40 day count and this whole March 12th pandemic thing. And the Lord said, count 40 days. And she realized it brought her to April 20th. And then she said, that's the 111th day of the year that the Lord had shown her. Now, 111 in my previous videos, I said in Strong's means lawlessness. And I have a Strong's count down that uh, basically is like five 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 four 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 three three two 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 one one one. I've been talking about this for almost two years that the Lord showed me one time when I was waking up that if you count that down it makes a message okay and it ends at two 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 being the rapture and one 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 is lawlessness arrives and April 20th is the 111th day okay where am I going with all this the prophecy it said that when the government there'll be no government and neither of them will make their kingship and neither of them are making their kingship they have to share it but on that day, on that day that neither of them make their kingship, which would be today, neither of them have succeeded that day. It says Messiah. Let me read it again. Um, um, they'll quarrel much without decision on either side. Um, oh, no, sorry. It's the other prophecy. Sorry. It says um, both their names will be Benjamin and neither of them will succeed in establishing their government or kingship. On that day, no one understand that the King Messiah already stands at the door. So on the day that neither of them succeed with that, Messiah stands at the door. And on the Sabbath afterwards, he will come and be revealed. Okay. So if we look at the fact that I said I was looking at April 20th for, day, for weeks now, you can look at my videos, April 20th. That was yesterday. That was the that's like midnight now, but that was the day this all happened, April 20th. Okay. And, um, 
And what was I saying? Yeah, it says the Sabbath. So April 20th, if this is what is being fulfilled here is that the neither of them will establish their kingship, um, then basically what we are saying is on April 20th, neither of them establish their kingship and the Sabbath after the words Messiah will be revealed. And today, April 20th would be 111, lawlessness. So if they're talking about the Messiah as in like who they are going to agree with, that's one thing. Or are they talking about Jesus? All I know is there's two births. First, the rapture, then the re revealing. As according to Second Thessalonians, he that now letteth will let until he's taken out of the way. And then that lawless one is revealed. Okay. So you know now what withholdeth. It's us. So what I'm trying to say is there's so many connections here beyond my wildest dreams. Then I just saw Steve Fletcher's video and he said, what's the Sabbath after April 20th? Guys, I've been talking about April 20th for weeks now and not even knowing why. Now, seven days, the Sabbath after or whatever, six days, the Sabbath after April 20th is, from what I understand, is um, is like, well, what he said on the video is Israel's real birthday somehow. Now, I don't understand. I didn't 100%, you know, get a chance to fully look into. You can look at Steve Fletcher's video on it. But this Saturday is a big day for Israel. Uh, from You just look at his video. My point is, I have been talking about the 20th for ages. This happened on the 20th. One, one, one is lawlessness. And then when I was like, Lord, what is really going on here? Because I'm feeling a really strong feeling about this. Is this a huge marker to say, He's at the door and that he's going to be revealed on the Sabbath after. So all I know is all day I was like, 424, what does that mean? Like, should I even look it up? Just forget about it. Because I haven't done anything like that in a while where, you know, I'm looking up what my video number is or something like that and not on purpose just because it's not something that I was led to do. So finally at midnight, I felt so strong that I thought, let me just Google it. 424 in Strong's Greek means to go up and ascend. So I've been feeling that all day since I made it while well, it's been like seven, six, seven hours. And then I look it up finally, and it means to go up and ascend. And this is all about that Kaduri prophecy and the Shoshani prophecy that on the day that they, no one establishes their kingship and neither of them really have. Okay. They're sharing it on that day. Messiah is at the door and the Sabbath after that, he will be revealed. So this is huge. They said Steve Fletcher's video said on the Sabbath after it's, you know, an important day. I I don't know if it's Israel's, I know May 14th is their birthday, but there's something, I don't know. All I know is, you know, I, I forgot what he said, but it's something, you know. And uh, like I said, I've been talking about April 20th for a long time now. Look at any of my videos. I'm not just spewing this out of nowhere. And I kind of didn't even really bring it up. I haven't even really been discussing it. I just thought, well, the Lord showed my sister um, who has sent me that messenger, the face. Facebook message. And she said, she asked the Lord if she could show me. And he said, yes. And so she, he brought her to the fact that March 12th to April, to April 20th is 40 exact days, 40 days. And I've been on this 40 day kick for a while. Um, anyway, so then to end it with everything is two days ago, my daughter had her window open in the evening. Sometimes we hear coyotes outside the window and stuff and we'll tell each other. But this time she came down and she said, mommy, I heard this dude, dude, she was a horn dude, dude. And she told my husband too, she said, I heard it like on your video, like that man who blows the, um, who blows the, the horn, the animal horn. I said, Oh yeah, it's a shofar. I go, what do you mean? She said, I heard it in the sky out of my window. Do, do. She goes, I guess it's cause I leave my window open. And I was like, what? And I'm like, are you sure it wasn't the coyotes? They howl at night or whatever. And she's like, no, it was a horn, a trumpet several times. She said this like two days ago. So things like this are happening this is crazy that basically said that on the day that no kingship is established, that is today or yesterday, the 20th, then he's at the door and the Sabbath after he's revealed. So if that's what that means, this is crazy. This is amazing. This is, I don't even know what to say because I've been talking about this date for weeks now. And also, like I said, it means 111. That's 111th day, 20, April 20th, which means lawlessness. Okay. So which Messiah are we talking about? And what are we talking about here? All I know is Second Thessalonians said that we are, that we are holding it back, uh, him back, that he may be revealed. Okay. So one has to go before the other, but they go together. It's like, you know, hand in hand here. So that's our blessed hope. I just cannot believe this is happening. I don't even know what to say. Cause at first I thought this nullifies the prophecy, but it only made it stronger and made it crazy to the point, amazing to the point where I felt like I had to 
look up my time on my video 424 to go up and ascend. So I had to say that really quick. Now I'm going to go to bed. So I hope that blessed you guys and encouraged you guys. Check out Steve's video, I guess, because it goes into a little bit more detail and revelation chapter 12.com. He's going to be posting something. I believe he's live streaming soon. So to get more details, but this is amazing 424 to go up and ascend. Well, I'll see you guys soon in the air or talk to you again on the next video. And I love you guys and have a really blessed day or evening. God bless and shalom.